Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are having a look at the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic configure sync slicers, which is part of the section enhance reports for usability and storytelling. We have already had a detailed look in another video using this on the use of slicers and filters. So now we are going to see how different slicers can be synchronized on the report pages. So now let's go to the Power BI desktop environment. So here I am inside the Power BI desktop environment and I have created a visual from one of the earlier videos where I have the total cost shown by the month name. So all I want to do is that I want to create a slicer visual here. So I'm going to go and bring in a slicer visual. So this is my slicer visual and I am going to put some field into here. So let's go to the stores table and let me bring in my store name. So let me just pull in my store name. So here you can see that my store name is inside the slicer and I want to change the slicer to a drop down so that it becomes more clear. So now I have a slicer visual here and I can you know select anything on the slicer and the visual here is going to be filtered. So what option we are now going to explore is that if let's say we have the store name slicer on another visual and I want to actually actually go from one page to another but I want that my slicer setting is synchronized between this report page and another report page. So all I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click here on this slicer visual and I'm going to copy this from uh, copy this slicer visual using the control C option. Then I'm going to go on my next report page where I have two other visuals where I have total cost by sales region and total cost by product brand. So now here I am going to just paste my slicer. So as soon as I paste my slicer here, I get this window which says that one or more of the copied visual can stay in sync with the visual it was copied from. Do you want to keep them in sync? So if you do this operation like I have done, so the first time you do it, then Power BI asks you so that uh, ask you that do you want to syn synchronize the slicer? So here I am going to say, okay, just go and synchronize the slicers. I'm going to show you how you can do it manually. So now I have this store name slicer on two pages. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to select here uh, the slicer and I'm going to select here the value store 10. So as soon as I select store 10, you see that the values in the visuals are filtered. So here now just the store 10 is, is in the Mexico central. So, so I am getting the values of the total cost for the store 10 and obviously it is getting filtered and my Mexico central and all the products are getting filtered. So now if I go back to my page number 29 here you see that the slicer value here has also been changed. So I changed the value from that page and it is automatically changed here on this. So let me now just go and change it to another value. So I'm going to say okay make it store 13 and now if I go back to my earlier page here the value is again changed. So now what has happened is that this slicer has been synchronized and that has been synchronized because I was given the option and I said okay just synchronize this uh, the, the, these slicers. But you can also uh, use some of the options available inside Power BI to do this manually. So now let's go and see what is the, that option. So let's say if I have to synchronize these slicers, first I will select any of the slicers on one of the pages and then I will go in the view option here. And in the view option on the very right, you are going to see an option which says sync slicer. So you have an option sync slicer. So now I'm going to click on this sync slicers option and you are going to see that a new pane has actually opened and it is showing me all my pages in my report. So here it says add and sync with all pages or the specific pages. So if I come down, I can see that the options for page 29 and page 30 are selected. So what are these two options? 
So let's have a look at these two options. So this is the option that is actually doing the synchronization. And the other option, the other icon, which has an I, that actually shows that you actually want this, this slicer to be, to be visible as well. So if you want to just, you know, make sure that the, uh, that the slicer is, is visible on just one page. Maybe you have a requirement that the user uh, does the selection on this page and on the other page, the user does not have the option to actually see that particular slicer. So what you can do that, let's do it at that I am on page number 30. No, so I want to keep my slicer synchronized. So I'm, I'm going to select the these two as checked for 29 and 30 and I'm just going to switch off for page number 29. So what it is going to do is that the slicer will only be vis visible here and the slicer would be synced as well. The value of the slicer would change, but I am not, I will, I will not be able to see the slicer on page number 29. So now I have changed this and now I close this and let me just change it to another value. So I am going to change to store number 11. And now if I go to page number 29, I do not see the value i do not see the slicer at all but actually the slicer is working and this visual is also being filtered so this is how you can create the slicers and you can synchronize on as many pages as you want uh, we just did it for two pages but you can do it for as many pages as you want so you can make sure that the slicer is visible you can control that option and then you can also synchronize uh, the slicers if there is a requirement to synchronize the slicers. So that's all for this particular video and I will catch up with you in the next one.